Here's the lead code problem that I just mentioned that can help us practice topological thought. First, let's take a look at the problem description. So basically, we'll understand how we can apply the concepts that we just learned into a real actual problem. It's very practical. There is a total of num causes cost that you have to take, labeled from zero to num causes minus one. Say, for example, here, the total number of causes is two. So there are a total of two causes that you have to take, and they are labeled as zero and one. And there is another parameter here, prerequisites. What does this mean? This is a 2D array. If you take a look at the method signature here, this is a 2D array. It means, for example, if you want to take cost one, you should have finished cost zero first. That's what it means. So that's what it means. So basically, we want to understand how we can use the simplest form to represent a graph, which is basically a 2D array. Let's quickly recall what we went through is Khan's algorithm. First step is we want to find all of the start nodes that we can put into a hash set to begin with. So how can we do that? What we can do is we can walk through this given prerequisite and then we'll build another array to hold the incoming degree. If the incoming degree of a particular cost is zero, that means it doesn't have any prerequisite. So we can put those nodes as the start nodes into a hash set. There are a total of n causes, right? So we can have an in degree like this, a 1D array causes like this. We can just walk through this prerequisite. Let me copy this to the array. So say what we need to check here is in degree. We will just do a calculation. What we want to cap, what we want to add up is which causes are using this one as its prerequisite. For example, we're given this prerequisite, which means in order to take class one, you have to you have to have finished class zero first. That means class one, right? Class one, which has an index of zero, has a prerequisite. Here, the in degree is just helping us keep track of how many prerequisites this particular class has. For example, this one, again, this one we have to finish class zero first before we can take class one. So we don't really care which particular classes that we have to finish, but we just keep track of the count. So we have a simple 1D array here, in degree. Here we use pre zero, that's the first index. So remember all of these indices, it's always the length of every single array inside this 2D array is always two. We'll always use the first one to calculate the in degree. So see how many prerequisites there are for this class. After that has been calculated, remember, we'll have a set called zero degree, which is basically the start set, hash set. And then we'll just go through this in degree num causes i plus plus if in degree i equals zero which means this is the most fundamental class that doesn't have any prerequisite then we can just simply take it add i remember this i is the index because every single class is labeled from zero to n minus one all right Good. Next thing, we want to check whether this is a valid DAG, right? Basically, is it possible that we can take all of the classes? Okay, that means we need to have at least one element in the zero degree hash set, right? Otherwise, there's no single class that you can take before you don't have any prerequisite classes taken, right? So we'll check is empty. If that is the case, we can just directly return false here. If that is not the case, okay, then we can continue. While zero degree, this is basically the start set as we just went through, is empty. While this one is not empty, we can just keep pulling. This is a hash set, we can just use an iterator. Zero degree iterator. And then we can just, uh, we will get this one, cause it next. And then we can remove this cost from this zero degree hash set. At this point, we want to visit the edges, right? We want to visit all of the edges that have this cost as a prerequisite. All right, let's do that. Prerequisite. And then, so if 
cost equals which one is a prerequisite? The second one, the second element in the index, right? So we want to check if pre one equals this one. This is the prerequisite classes that we are checking. If that is the case, we are going to remove that edge. So we'll just do in degree pre one minus one. In degree pre zero. Pre zero is the class that can be taken only if pre one has been done, right? So we'll just do minus, we'll, we'll subtract one in degree from this one. I hope that makes sense, which means back to the slides that we just went through, which means we have removed this edge. Okay. And then one more thing that we can check is if after one round or several rounds of subtracting, this one becomes zero, which means we have taken all of the prerequisite classes of this one, then we can take this one. So we'll just add this one into zero degree, which is this one, right? This is a hash set, so add. Because we have finished taking all of the prerequisite classes of this class, so then this class can be safely taken. Okay, that's what it means. So after all of this, after we finished visiting all of the elements, eventually all of the vertices or all of the classes will be added into the zero degree. And then all of the edges or all of the incoming edges will be removed. So the zero degree will be empty in the end. At that moment, what we want to do is we want to check if there are still any edges that hasn't been removed and back into this context, into this code, we basically want to check if in degree, if there is still any in degree that is not zero. If this in degree is still not zero, that means still we haven't finished taking any prerequisite classes for this one, right? That means we cannot take all classes. We'll just return false. Otherwise, we can just return true. This is how we transform the Kanz algorithm that we just went through into the actual code. So after we went through Kanz algorithm and finished doing cost schedule one, we can easily add a couple more lines into this algorithm and then we can make cost schedule two accepted, right? Okay, then let me just uh, copy this one into here. Method signature is the same, but here the return is different. So after copying this one, what we can do is say here, just modify a couple lines, then this problem could be accepted. In this, the return method signature is an empty array if it doesn't exist. So what we'll do is we'll just return an empty array here. Then here we'll initialize this result. Order new, we'll just call it order num causes. Remember, whenever we take one element from the start set, we'll just add this one. We'll have another variable, just call it to zero. We'll just add this one and increment it. Cost. We we'll just add this cost into this order and then increment i. And then here, we'll just return an empty array as well. But otherwise, we'll just return order. That's it. Now let's hit submit and see. All right, this is also accepted. This is just one of the many known popular algorithms, again, Kahn's algorithms to solve topological ordering problems. I hope this video does help you make sense of this problem. And for the DFS approach of solving topological problem, I'll have a follow-up video to do that. So if you want to study that, definitely hit subscribe button. And if you find this video useful to help you understand topological sorting using Kahn's algorithm, please do me a favor and hit the like button. Just destroy it. I really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel as we continue to go through a lot of interesting interview or lead code, data structure, or AWS problems. I would really appreciate that. And if you have any questions, comments, just leave me down below in the comment section. See you guys in the next video.